For a better part of a year, I have been blessed to be working with some of the finest electric cello models available on the market. And today, we're finally going to answer the question, which e-cello is the right one for you? Are you a NS Design CR cellist? Or are you a Yamaha SVC cellist? At first glance, these wonderful e-cellos could not appear any more different. Yet they are full-size instruments and their fingerboard and string length is exactly the same. They're both electric. They both allow you to play silently and practice silently as well. Yet there's many things that make them unique upon themselves. So let's take a deep look at each one of these. The Yamaha SVC cello has a semi-hollow spruced body enclosure, a maple neck, and beach knee supports. The wood is mostly spruce, and the bridge is natural maple, and it ships with a Aubert bridge. Yet, of course, if you see this video right here, I changed the bridge to a Despial. The fingerboard is made of ebony, the tuners are a worm gear type 4 to 1 ratio tuners. The tailpiece is a Wittner tailpiece from Germany. The end pin is non-removable. The strings that ship with the instrument are Dadario Helicor. I have upgraded to full Larsons. And for the physical cue points that make this feel like an acoustic cello, you have these folding knee supports and the detachable shoulder piece here. This detaches and of course this for your chest support. For the build of the NS Design cello we start with the body. It is a solid straight grain rock maple body neck and head. The bridge is a European stained maple and the fingerboard is rich light. The fine tuners are Schaller and tailpiece. Well, there is no tailpiece. The end pin is removable. And the strings are NS Design, the Dario Helicores. You have the lower bouts of the cello and enough space right here to mimic the space between your chest and the neck. You also have a little nipple. It doesn't come on all of them, but this little metal nipple does arrive with your CR series and gives you the fourth position. Not to mention these wonderfully inlaid acrylic points to keep you in tune. Let's look at the electronics of these wonderful e-cellos, starting with the Yamaha. It has an active preamp. Control knobs are a master volume and an auxiliary volume. Very interesting there. You also have onboard reverb in three different settings. Mono line out 6.3 millimeter and an auxiliary in 3.5 millimeter right here. So you can pipe in some sort of wonderful accompaniment from your mobile device. You do have a headphone jack here, but it is a 6.3 millimeter quarter inch jack. So you might need an adapter if you have a classic mini jack. And lastly, you'll have to invest into many double A batteries, especially if you like using the reverb settings. It just gobbles up power. So my suggestion, if you really like the reverb setting, you're going to have to invest into their power adapter. PA130 power adapter, it is essential. You're gonna need that. And earlier in this video, you heard the difference between what the preamp sounds like powered from the battery and then powered from the AC adapter. I think it's quite obvious which you might need. But the option is of course yours. The Yamaha is a little more traditional in the sense where you will have to take it to Luthier, which you will see in this video, my recent discovery that a bridge can be improved on this instrument. But you can even do more than that because of course, it has an ebony fingerboard that may need to be reshaped at one time. And it has a tailpiece and other matters which 
a luthier can work on. So yes, it's, it is luthier friendly, but not maintenance free. It will require an expert. We continue with the electronics for the CR series NS Design Cello. Yes, it is an active preamp. The control knobs on the side are made of metal for volume, EQ setting, treble, and bass. Here we have a switch. At the top setting, you have for pizzicato mode. In the middle setting, you have full frequency response. And at the bottom, you have what Ned calls the acoustic filter. On the back side, we have a 6.3 millimeter quarter inch jack and also a 3.5 millimeter eighth of an inch mini jack for silent monitoring. Power is sufficiently provided by two nine volt batteries. The travel case is quite convenient as well. Now let's see how long it takes to break this down and get it ready for travel. There's this foam insert in this thing that protects it, which is nice. It's right there. It goes over the bridge. Two minutes, eight seconds. For the case of the NS Design Cello, it is quite soft, but yet very easy to load in your cello. And I'm going to do that right now. One minute and 55 seconds. Completely packed away. When they're in the travel cases, the NS Design and Yamaha cello are much smaller than any acoustic instrument. You can travel onto planes. You can even take them into the cabin with the NS Design putting up in the uh, overhead compartment with no approval. But you can also see the difference in size. Not only is the Yamaha wider and heavier, but it's also taller too. So whether that's a factor or not, you might find that to be an important feature. Interesting fact, I ride a motorcycle and I have ridden with both of these cellos on my back separately, of course, at different times. And I'll tell you one thing, the Steinberger was much easier to manage. <clears throat> so let's talk about the sound differences. These are my opinions on the sound quality and I grade each of them on a 10 point scale. First, let's talk about the preamp noise. I'm going to tip my hat to the Steinberger for having the cleanest preamp signal given it a nine out of 10 well, this is scoring a six out of 10 and I'm knocking it because again, when you're using the battery as opposed to AC power, the difference, as you noticed earlier in the video was significant. Direct input for both of them is comparable. I scored them both at a solid eight. The dry signal into my Hendrickson for the Yamaha, I, I liked it. It was at an eight out of 10 for me yet the dry signal for this instrument because again, I think the preamp is a much higher quality. I scored a nine out of 10 for the NS Design CR5. With an impulse response added to both of these instruments, I have to score it a 10 out of 10, especially out of the beautiful Hendrickson amp. For a total sound score, we have 35 out of 40 for the NS Design CR series and a 32 out of 40 for the Yamaha, just edging the Yamaha out for sound quality. Let's now discuss some questions that subscribers and students have posed to me over the past 18 months regarding these instruments. First question is the build quality. The Yamaha SVC is a fantastically designed made in Japan instrument. I really, really like it. I scored an eight out of 10. Yet the NS Design CR cello, it feels like it's built by musicians. Granted, they're both good, and the build quality is fantastic. But I have to give it just the edge on the NS Design Cello, nine out of 10. For how comfortable and easy to handle these instruments are, the Yamaha, I score an eight out of 10, mainly because it's heavier, it's bulkier, the edges are, are not as smooth, and 
it doesn't pack in as quickly. So it's a good eight out of 10. While the NS Design Cello has parts of it that are really nice. For instance, the bouts are completely rounded off. It is significantly lighter, much easier to pack away. It is as if the Steinberger team has gone and really put their hands on every single aspect of this instrument. I mean, there's one tiny little thing that's, that Roos over in Cremona discovered is this could be a little better finished. But besides that, everywhere you touch on the instrument, it's comfortable to the fingers, comfortable to the legs. 10 out of 10. For silent practice and online teaching, the edge goes to the Yamaha. I score this one a solid 8 out of 10. It is great for both of them, but it has five strings. And when you're teaching online, some of your students need to see this piece right here. They need to, of course, it's a four string as opposed to five string, granted that. But they need to see the traditional bridge. They need to see this piece right here so it helps you teach them in the correct way. There isn't this complete openness. So for online teaching and silent practice for your most traditional cellists, 10 out of 10. There isn't a better instrument for that. And especially for online teaching as well. I use it every single day. I teach at 6 a.m to as late as 11 p.m. at night. And it's fantastic. I love this instrument for teaching. For silent songwriting and arranging, the scale gets tipped toward the NS Design Cello. Because every time I reach for an instrument, I'm never reaching for this one. I'm arranging or songwriting. I immediately grab this. Because of the spots on it, I can just have it at any position and find the notes. It's so comfortable to touch. I'm always grabbing it and arranging and putting it back. This is my go-to instrument because it's lighter. So for silent songwriting and arranging, this is a solid 10 out of 10 experience. While this one here is an eight out of 10. I used to use it a lot until I got this. Now we use this primarily for that, for when I'm feeling extra creative, which usually happens late at night. Portability, well, it's kind of obvious. They're both quite portable. I've ridden my motorcycle with both of them on my back, but the edge goes to the Steinberger once again because it's smaller, it is lighter. You can put it in the overhead compartment on your airplane trip and you won't need to have cabin crew approval. Nine out of 10, but this is a 10 out of 10, really. It just is for portability. Let's talk about the upgrades that have been performed on both of these wonderful e-cellos. These are upgrades that I performed. You certainly don't have to do them. They're just things that I did. We start with the Yamaha cello. This bridge, even though it's okay, it just wasn't good enough. So I replaced the bridge. That was a 200 euro investment. Another thing that wasn't good enough was the tailpiece. You have gear tuners on this. Why do you have fine tuners here? Instead, I optioned for a solid piece composite vintner and it's fantastic. So that's something I did. And lastly, of course, like I've already discussed, I replaced the strings to Larson's on this. The strings that come with it were not of my liking. Same thing for the Steinberger is that I replaced the strings. Yet because the bridge is completely maintenance free, and there's no tailpiece, there's really nothing else you needed to do. So nine out of 10 for this. Well, this right here, because I had to invest so much more money into it, that's a six out of 10. After everything said and done, a total usage score of 49 out of 60 for our Yamaha SVC cello and our NS Design CR cello, we're looking at a 55 out of 60. Taking into account the sound, and the usage score, we have a total of 81 out of 100 for the Yamaha, while we have 90 out of 100 for the NS Design CR Cello. But numbers isn't just enough because there are key differences between these two instruments. For instance, it is my recommendation, if you're looking for a silent practice cello, this is a great instrument. You can put in your own accompaniment and everything is self-contained. Yet if you're more on the artistic side and you're looking to be creative, then I really suggest 
you look into the NS Design Cello in all their series, whether it's an NXTA or a WAV, it doesn't matter. They're all fantastic instruments and you'll enjoy them. Another thing you might be wondering about is just how quiet are they? They're both very quiet. The NS Design Cello is slightly more quiet than the Yamaha SVC because this has a semi-hollow spruce body. And in my opinion, the semi-hollow spruce body doesn't really make much of a difference. If the preamp and the piezo were much higher quality, maybe so, but it leaves a lot to be desired. While this is a complete solid body instrument, it is slightly more quiet and the wood quality, well, it's just better. A key takeaway from my hands-on experience is that you will need an AC adapter for this instrument. That adds another wire, but it's okay. One, if you're okay with having this plugged in all the time, it's great if you're not moving around very much. This instrument here, my hands-on experience, it feels like it has a Stratocaster soul. That's all I can say. You know, Ned Steinberger, he designed this, the Steinberger guitar and the Spectre bass. So it comes from a guy that has committed his life to ingenuity, but also providing opportunity for artists. A wonderful thing about e-cellos is they provide you an almost limitless canvas for creativity. You can use all sorts of effects as you've listened to a little bit today of my very limited understanding of effects. But there's just so much more you can do with e-cellos, sounds that you've never been able to create and never will be able to create with your acoustic instrument. That's why it took so long for me to create this video for you guys, because I have been learning a lot. I've gone online on YouTube, on Skype, on all sorts of places and talked to people older than me, younger than me, guitarists, bassists, jazz, jazz guitarists, and I have discovered on my own journey, the right way to make these instruments sound as good as possible. It is super important that you understand this. This is not an easy world to get into because we're not indoctrinated as cellists. We are known for acoustic instruments. So playing electric, there are people out there that we need to lean upon and your guitar friends and bass player friends and particularly jazz guitarists. You need to start talking to them because they're going to really help you out with their knowledge base. So in conclusion, my recommendation, I have to say that the Steinberger NS Design CR Series Cello is the better e-cello on the market. And even though I used the Yamaha cello every single day for teaching, the one I reach for when I'm writing and I simply just want to play beautiful music, is the NS Design CR5. Thank you for watching my video today and lasting with me for such a long time. You guys have been so kind, reminding me via email, where is the NS versus SVC video? Well, here it is everyone. Connor, thanks for the reminder and all of you over the past 18 months saying, hey, where's that video? Well, here you go. I spent a lot of time editing this significant amount of time researching everything. I have called Yamaha of London. I have interviewed Ned Steinberger of NS Design and I have done so much work and I really, really hope that you guys have learned something because if you have, please leave a like. Consider subscribing because I don't just review music, I teach music and I talk about all things cello. And if you plan on purchasing one of these instruments through any of your retailers worldwide, would you do me a favor? And tell them that the cello coach, Jonathan, sent you. Because I don't get paid for any of this. I love these instruments. And I want you guys to get the best possible information out there. From a person that objectively uses these instruments, enjoys both of them. A little bit more on this side, but almost equally. So yes, if you purchase one of these instruments, no matter where you are in the world, please do me that favor and tell them that Jonathan sent you. So I thank you once again for spending your valuable time with me here on my channel. And I hope that you have learned a little bit more today as you travel along your journey of music discovery.